This 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 is a Marcus. This is a Marcus. Any unauthorized music. This is a Marcus. This is a Marcus. Any unauthorized music. This is a Marcus. This is a Marcus. Yo, what's up, man? It's your boy Elbow, man. Welcome back to the lab, man. Yo, I know I've been out for a while. You know, I've been working on the Elbow Lab website, so I'm trying to multitask. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no staff. You know, it's just me and a few cats, and we're just trying to put it down. But anyway, uh, I'm back, and we're going to do a tutorial on the sequencer and reason. Uh, I'm going to do a, this is going to be a real quick tutorial. I'm just really going to show you how to mix. Uh, like if you want to do some breakdowns and stuff like that, not really mix, just breakdowns in uh, in the sequencer. It's going to be real, real, real easy to do. Uh, I kind of uh, showed you a little bit of it in uh, some of the, uh, the previous tutorials, but I'm just going to kind of just go over it again with you so you really make sure you got it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's just go ahead on and bring the sequencer up. This track right here is a track I did from one of my homeboys. You know what I'm saying? Uh, as you can see, uh, I did. I put a lot of stuff up in here. You know what I'm saying. Let me zoom in a little bit. Let you get a good look at that. You know what I'm saying. I zoomed in and um, I say I zoomed in, but I put a lot of modules in this track. You know what I mean. Just to give him a real fast sound, give him some heat. You know what I mean. And um, the boy was loving it. You know what I'm saying. He loving every minute of it. But let's go check out the sequencer, man. Uh, here we go. All right, we're looking at the sequence. As you can see up here at the top, this is some new stuff. Uh, last time I showed you, you know what I mean, I just had my sounds. Let me stretch it out a little bit so you can really, really, really see it. Uh, last time we looked at this, I had, you know, just my sounds. I had my sounds over here like we were showing you for each track. and uh, But I didn't have any of this data up here. This right here was what I called. I don't know what reason called it, but I called it live mixing. This is where you could actually push play and record at the same time while you have the, the mixer highlighted and you can actually manually mute and solo tracks and it records it and you know you can drop that like that and, and you know and it's, it's done you know what I'm saying and then you can actually go in and modify the uh, the breakdowns you did if you wasn't on cue if you wasn't on point with your breaks so love it to death man this this is i always liked it doing my mixes kind of live a little bit before it's my breakdowns or whatever you know probably because i was limited back in the day but i used to love doing it live when i was recording because it just it always felt good to me but hey that's the past we're talking about the future and the future is reasons so let's go ahead on and let's delete all this stuff here because uh we're not going to uh we're not going to do any live mixing right now because I'm not using my camera, so you know you won't be able to see me doing it. So, and the reason why I know you guys probably wonder, man, what happened to the camera? But I'm actually on my Mac right now, so uh, I'm gonna start trying to do some things from the Mac. So I'm probably gonna end up going away from the camera. Uh, reasons just run better on my Mac. My PC is just, you know, it's squirrely. You got some stuff going on. I don't know what's up, but I had to get up off that joint. Plus, I got Pro Tools and I got everything on my Mac. And you know, once I start getting more advanced with the tutorials, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do some stuff with Pro uh, Pro Tools, Rewire, and stuff like that. So, time to move to the Mac. But trust me, everything is still over here. You just can't see me. All right, uh, let's get into this real quick. I'm gonna let y'all check the track out. Uh, there's no breaks in it, so it's just gonna start automatically. <laughs> Okay, the way I want this to start is I want to be able to start with my, I want to start with my uh, violin first. So what I'm going to do is I know that my violin is track number one. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go and take away everything else that's that's not, you know, that violin. And that's all these tracks here. So I'm going to left click into a, a empty space and then I'm going to drag and then I'm going to highlight all those guys and I'm going to push delete. They're gone. All right. 
now I know that I want that violin to go for four bars and then when it gets ready to come in on that fifth bar I want a lot of stuff to come in but I do not want my kick to come in I want my kick to come in on like the seventh bar how do you do that alright I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna zoom in and then I'm gonna double click on the, these four bars here left double I'm gonna left click and that's gonna take us let me back up a little bit that's gonna take us to edit mode now here go the arrows these arrows are, you know I might be moving a little too fast uh, you see these little these little arrows on each side this is how you could you can make the uh, you can make those four bars of my kick of the kick smaller or you can you know keep it the same size you can make you can take away from it you can put add to it so forth and so on I want this kick to come in on a snare on the seventh bar so how do you do that okay I can actually just you know slide it and get it to right there but one thing I'm gonna let you know real quick is that and I told you in the last tutorial that I was gonna talk about the bar uh, box up here radio bar uh, radio box this is for I use this for editing and I, I want to say everybody else probably use it for editing uh, is that when you have it on a bar setting you're only gonna get one two three four these are four these are four bars so whenever you try to slide whenever you try to slide a sound uh, you know slide a track you're only going to be able to slide it in one bar increments you see what I'm saying and then boom you know you just can't you can't go no further than that so what you need to do is you need to go up here to the bar and you need to set that to you know 116 it gives you more flexibility and I'm gonna show you as you can see now I could go a little farther but before I only could stop right here at that one bar and uh, now you can go further but I'm still saying you know what I really can't see that I want that even though I know that these little dots right here are my snares uh, I'm like now nah, I need to be more detailed with that I need to be able to see that so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to double click on that and it's gonna bring me up it's gonna bring me up to my uh, to the edit view and then these arrows are right here one got one over here one over there I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull that and I'm gonna stretch it uh, I'm gonna take away from it and I know my snare is right there this is my snare here and if you wanna know how you know that's your snare it's because if you go look over here there it goes short snare you can also hit it too and it'll play it for you okay so you know what sounds you got now I just did that I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna change view this button here over to your far left is uh, this is your range mode so you can switch back and forth I'm gonna switch back and it's already ready to go <clears throat> if I just go here in the timeline and I click on that and for the people that didn't hear that I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna solo that and then we're gonna go back and then I'm gonna let you hear it again right on the snare okay now another thing is I already told you you got your solos and you got your mutes and if I didn't tell you I apologize you got your mutes over here for each track and you got your solos and then for your device go if you want to do like some live mixing using uh, these buttons uh, which would be very difficult to do but if you chose to do that you can actually go through and you can solo some things and uh, if you let your homeboy hit a track or whatever you go up here to the device you can click in and it'll let it release them all so uh, let's, let's just kind of speed this up because I'm starting to run out of time but that that right there what I just showed you is valuable because you can actually go to any part of the track click on the sound click on the balls that you want and then you can make any adjustments you want you know what I'm saying you can actually go in you can delete uh, let's say I got my strings here and I want my strings to disappear here you just click into an empty space hold down drag highlight both of them push delete um, if you want the bass this is my bass right here I said well I don't want my bass to play in the front you can actually slide that then the bass will play it will come in on um, that boy won't come in right you know it's four boards but I just made it two because I took away two um, and if you say hey I don't want my kick to play here so forth and so on so you see what I'm saying this this is very 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 easy uh, editing uh, it could get more complex I just kind of really just had an, uh, an urge to jump in here real quick and kind of show you some quick ways you can just go in and edit and you can slide stuff around and you can click on stuff and move it you know if you want to move it around or whatever you know what I'm saying so uh, you know it's just just real easy so man go ahead and play with that and uh, I'm back so 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're going to have a few more tutorials I'm going to put out there. And, uh, yeah, we're about to get it back popping, man. It's your boy Elbow, man. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Thank you.